wonder what you're really seeing up in the night sky? I mean, could that strange shape or fast-moving object actually be a UFO? Or is it just a cellophane wrapper blowing in the wind? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well. Uh, well, we sent News 10's Dave Marcus out to check it out. And Dave, uh, so what is out there, huh? Well, Dale and Christina, you might be not surprised to find out that UFO sightings have turned out to be everything from fast food containers blown up into the sky to objects that even professional pilots and astronauts have been left shaking their heads over in wonder. Something is going on if there's something up there. It can be something real, not just subjective. Local UFO watchers say sightings around Sacramento, especially in the foothills, have been up lately. Local author Ben Stecker has written extensively on UFOs. There's a phenomenon that we are perhaps several phenomena that we don't even begin to understand. Maybe they are Pleiadians or whatever from another planet or from Mars even. Local astronomer Liam McDade is more than a little skeptical. It's probably not an alien species that's traveled X number of light years to come here and harass us without doing anything obvious or overt, like landing on the White House lawn, uh, having a beer with Obama. Stecker agrees the many unexplained sightings may not be from outer space. Maybe they're, they're objects built right here by some group on Earth or by our own government. Whether from Earth or not, many scientists like McDade would just like to see some hard evidence. I need to see some actual alien hardware technology, metal, ashtray with Alpha Centauri Hilton on it, something that will make it clear to me that it does not come from our planet. More sightings, whatever they are, says Stecker, may just be that more people are gazing with interest into the night sky. We know we're confronted with a major mystery, but we don't really know what it is. Uh, there's many famous sightings of various things over the years that we've never known what they were, and, and we probably never will. And in science, that's fine. Now, McDade says most of these stranger sightings turn out to be things like second stage rocket boosters or other fairly explainable phenomena. On the other hand, Steckler believes that so many sightings remain unexplained that there's plenty of room for speculation, including alien high technology that we can barely imagine. So there you are. And by the way, do you think it would be newsworthy if aliens did come down and have a beer with Obama? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they have. Maybe they have. It's just everyone's. Palmira Valle. 2 de agosto, el 3 de agosto es hoy, 2012, OVNI en Palmira. Marcelita, búscate un palito o algo como gruesito, una piedra o algo, que pueda poner aquí como rampa. Ah, puta, no enfoca, no enfoca, no enfoca, ya enfocó. Ay, no lo puedo creer. Más ancho. Como una tablita o algo. Ahí la niño como los palitos que los, los de los niños este ve. Eh, eh. Charon. Uy, se, se me desperdió, se me perdió. Aquí lo tengo, lo tengo, lo tengo. Palmira lo tengo. Valle, Colombia. ¡Toby! ¡Toby! Niños, vengan, miren, vengan, miren, vengan, miren, vengan, miren, vengan, miren, vengan, miren. Marica. ¿Sharon, ve? Míralo cómo se mueve, míralo cómo se mueve. Síguelo, síguelo. Qué chingo. Vamos a dar un poquito más de zoom. Sí, señores. Uy, no. ¡Oh, qué chimba! Ay, no te vayas, no te vayas, no te vayas. Míralo, míralo, míralo como hace, mira, 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 mira. Pero mira que son como una luz de discoteca. Mira, 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 mira. ¡No! ¡Perro, perro! ¡Quítate! A este marica me hizo desenfocar, hombre. Ahí lo tienes. ¡Sabi! Ajá, Se mueve, se mueve, se mueve, se mueve, se mueve. Míralo como se mueve, mira, mira cómo da vuelta, mira. Mira cómo da vuelta, mira cómo da vuelta, mira cómo da vuelta. No, el sonido, el sonido, el sonido. O sea, mira, es que este no suena nada. Señoras y señores, Leonardo Arbolea acaba de cumplir el sueño de su vida.
Tengo la cámara quieta, míralo cómo se mueve, míralo cómo se mueve, míralo, míralo. Vaya, busca todo mi amor, vamos a ¡Ah! ¡Marica, qué bella! ¡Ay, fue puta, se perdió, se perdió, se perdió! No, 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 aquí es que está. Mira, mira, mira la de la, 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 la mitad como palpita. No, y es que es una chima porque gira hacia los dos lados. Pero mira la de la de mitad como palpita. Oh. Oh, ahora. Che. Che. Sí, quello di quello di l'anno scorso. No. Guardalo. Bello, Anto. Pesti, ta fiamma. Per il punto di riferimento. Eh, è punto di riferimento, la sega, punto di riferimento. Che bello, caro. Beh, ferma, aspetta. Aspetta. No. Ecco, aspetta, guarda. No, sai. Guarda da vicino, corri. No, ma quanto è grande? Corri, vai giù a sentire, no. vai, vai giù dalla nonna, corri. Aspetta, corri. Aspetta. Se ne va. Cazzo. Se ne va, se ne va, se ne va. They were caught on camera on the night of February 16th. Mysterious lights had appeared in the sky over the 150 acres that Rainer and Edith Shadows call home in the Compass Bluff area of Jackson County. Were they a phenomenon that's simple to explain or maybe something else? The couple talked with Doug Walker today about their recent close encounter. The shadows never tire of looking at the strange images caught by their trail cameras that clear winter night. We have unusual things around here that happen, but it's usually associated with our grandchildren. <laughs> but this case, we didn't know what it was. I was looking for a nice buck to be showing up on the trail camera, actually. 724, deer appear and all is normal. 729, a dim light appears. 735, it gets brighter. 753, a weird shape appears on the camera. The deer are lit up brightly, but how? The cameras are infrared and don't emit light. 756, another sharper light appears. Then it gets much closer, seemingly focused on the deer. It looks like headlights, but well off the ground and there's no road. Then it flies away. Rainer takes me to the site deep in the woods. These are the trees where the object appeared. Well, first I was trying to see if it was something, you know, a reason for what we were seeing, but the more we looked at it, the more we realized it was something that was in the air. It was something that I'd never seen before. Reaction from friends is what you would expect. Well, actually, they're all just like we were. They're like, what? What is that? Hey, let me look at that again. Another deer is seen looking at a light that seemingly comes from nowhere. Well, now, whether it's alien, I'm not sure about that, but it's definitely a, a UFO. Now, whether it's a government drone or what, you know, I wish if nothing else, one of them would step up and say, yeah, that's ours. While Rainer and Edith admit they are wondering what this object was, would like to find out, are enlisting the help of friends to try to solve the mystery, they also say it's been quite a bit of fun. It's a puzzle that might not be solved, and it's one that's, you know, kind of fun. It, Add a little flavor to life, I guess you could say. Flavor and another ingredient tossed in as well. We just uh, uh, was fascinated over it because of the fact that it was right here and uh, it's, it's real. In Jackson County, Doug Walker, WLOX News. And despite the mystery surrounding the lights, the shadows say they aren't really concerned about their safety and still enjoy the peace and solitude of living on the country. Stay